All right. Watch me eat. I tried a new recipe today. Gluten-free pizza crust. Now, I had to modify this recipe because I was following the instructions and it just, some things just seemed a little off. And I have been making my own pizzas and handling pizza dough since I was a child. My mom used to have us make our own pizza all the time. We would use the Pillsbury um, refrigerated pizza crust because we lived on a budget. So uh, we couldn't just always go and buy pizza. When we went and had like pizza from the pizzeria, it was normally like a family dinner or a special event where we just had like some extra discretionary income or recreation money to spend. We would go places like the Shakey's, um, Little Italy. This was all in like PG County like in district heights I, I, if i remember correctly and then we would go to like jerry's and get pizza and i am definitely a pizza lover so i have been known to make my own pizzas um all the time and show them on facebook too but i never made my own pizza crust and i was buying pizza crust from the store and i need a gluten-free diet because i have food allergies right very difficult to find gluten-free pizza crust at the store so i decided to follow this recipe because i'm working on recipes for graffiti pizza cut and it's an artisanal pizza i got buffalo uh, milk mozzarella cheese on there okay something that you ain't never seen before right not around here and um yeah this is what it's looking like I cut it, I cut one piece from the middle, this piece came from the middle, this piece came from the outside, and you know, I baked it on the rack so you can see it's got that little, there's the bottom of the piece from the middle, here's the bottom of the piece from the side, so it looks like, you know, it's thoroughly cooked and everything, but this is my first time with this recipe and my first time trying my own pizza. And you know, if I gotta make improvements, then I gotta make them. And we'll see what happens. Cause when I don't like something, even if it's my own, I won't eat it. I just be like, okay, that ain't turned out right. So obviously I'm following my Ayurveda treatment plan. This milk is, well, increased the coffee energy. I have allergies post nasal drip i can't afford to like have too much mucus in my body um it will lead to like lung infections and things like that and asthma is prevalent in my family um i have a blood clotting disorder then i have to consider cholesterol so i drink my alcohol as my blood thinner definitely don't want to have especially with high blood pressure which i do have i definitely don't want to have like a bunch of cholesterol in my veins and then have the blood clotting disorder get a blood clot you know stroke heart attack and die so as part of my ayurveda treatment plan my goal is to balance everything out then i can consider my hypoglycemia which i've been sipping on my electrolyte special drink that I use when I'm working out now which is high in sugar and it's an electrolyte beverage it's made with matcha and of course I have my coca-cola that I'm about to drink um, this is really just you know for working out in emergency situations um, so that's like my backup because this has a lot of sugar in it but this is the first time that I've had these pieces so I don't know what the effects are going to be on my blood sugar I got to make sure I have everything ready i can't just be eating stuff all willy-nilly when you got these kind of conditions you gotta take care of yourself so there you go now that i'm done running my mouth it was kind of hot the pizza was very hot so let's see got some peppers on there <laughs> to bounce it out and Let me 
see the crust. Like the flakiness, the texture of the crust. And this is on the piece that I pulled from the outside. Now, I plan to have a brick oven. So it will look like brick oven pizza. This is the piece from the middle. This one might be a little bit crispier, but we'll find out. Mm. Not bad. Now, I use Moir Glen tomato basil sauce, and that's the sauce that I normally use on my pizzas when I make them myself. I think I'm going to start working on my own sauce. I do like that sauce, but for this particular pizza with this crust and this cheese, I need something with a bit stronger flavor. But it's good. The sauce just needs to be a bit stronger. The flavor of the sauce. Mm. Now, buffalo milk blue cheese is supposed to be lactose free and I do have dairy allergies which is why I use that blue cheese I actually wish I had got some more um, sauce and brought it in here to like use for my crust and dip it in there and whatnot but it's all good I'm gonna eat it like this for right now but I'm hoping that everything works out all right with my stomach and I'm not in any distress because if I am, that means I need to modify my recipe so that it's compliant with my Ayurveda plan. Because mm. I shouldn't be feeling distressed. This is the crust. Homemade, gluten-free. I just made this today. Here again, another view. I don't really like my crust to be too thick. I prefer um, thin crust pizza, but gluten, obvious reasons. Well, also because I like my toppings a lot, and I, I like my crust to just complement the toppings, really. It's like people, and they drown their salad in salad dressing. You'd be like, uh, do you want salad with that? Well, I like my toppings a lot. I like the cheese and the sauce, and I like the crust a lot, too, so it definitely has to taste good, but I prefer thin crust. But for people who like crust is not so thin, this is good. Just showing it. 
Mm. I always leave a little bit of crust on my plate. Like I said, I really prefer bang crust. I'm ready to start on a piece from the middle so I can see the difference. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to develop the sauce. This is my vodka. <laughs> Drinking it out of a mason jar. A little bit at a time because I just got out of the hospital and I am not trying to be sick. Coca-Cola for my blood sugar. Because I'm not sure what this is going to do, but we'll see. The cheese is providing protein, but the cheese for people who are type 2 diabetic, a higher protein diet will help to regulate your diabetes. But for people who have hypoglycemia like me, too much protein will drive the blood sugar down and, you know, can, can potentially create a dangerous situation. So we got to have a balance. And since this is my first time with this recipe, I'm definitely prepared. I got everything I need over here. <laughs> All right. I can tell the difference between the center piece and the, the outer piece. As I said, this pizza is good, but the crust, I would, this is my first time making this crust recipe and I like the texture. I prefer a thin crust though, but as I said, for people who are, you know, like, like a Chicago deep dish style pizza or just regular pizza, this crust is decent. I would just like for it to have a little more flavor. It doesn't seem as flavorful as I like. So I'm probably going to look at some recipes for regular pizza crust. Let's see where I can make some modifications to um, improve the flavor. Because the crust, although the texture is really good, if you like this kind of crust, the crust it seems just a tad bit bland to me. So... I would like for it to have a little more flavor. So I'm going to look up some more pizza crust recipes and see if I can make it taste a little bit more flavorful. But for the first time, this is pretty good. Pretty good. Like I said, the texture for a gluten-free crust or the modifications that I made. It's good. Mm. <laughs> and here's looking like Miss Piggy. Beats, beats, pizza in the street, <laughs> graffiti, G I G I, yeah, Eddie Yee, like Bruce Lee. I've been told you how I be out here looking like me. <laughs> you know, I got the best security, uh, I use it for myself. Too many people out here not looking out for their health and wealth. I keep talking about the stuff, yeah. I keep talking about connections and how I formed them. My parents did the best protection. I don't even know why it was so many times that I had to warn them. Mm. 
So I came in and stormed them. Yeah. <laughs> Here. That's a white four lock over there. Don't stare. It's natural. I don't care. It's factual. And yeah, motherfuckers with that fake shit can stay over there. I'ma keep putting it down like here, here, here. Mmm. Got the piece of buffalo cheese and I'm in here like little Caesar, Issa, Issa. I know you can't believe graffiti, GG fine, freestyle, and I got my shirt on. Sustainability, I keep talking about my tents and how I got the greenery and I be fertilizing shit to DC. Walking through the streets like, yeah, uh, with the t shirts, boo. Uh, graffiti, GG's in the cut. You know I'm gon' have the best ones. That's how I do, bitch. I do this shit for fun. <laughs> Keep control over the youngest. Don't be out here acting dumb. <laughs> I'm somebody grandma. You might not believe it. Magic. I'm not gonna deceive it. I'm just gonna present it in front of your face. Like don't end up being tragic. <laughs> Woo. Mm. I got the nose. I got the clothes. Yeah. Fuck these hoes. Mm -hmm. I know you want to try it, bitch. I know you want to buy it. I've been there that I scry it. Ain't nobody over here dying. Everybody wanna be a motherfucking G. And I'm like, yeah, uh-huh. When the last time you seen me? 